My buddy Don has blessed me so much by being his friend. Um, he has showed me how much you can love somebody unconditionally. Every time I come to the group home, he'll just run and give me a huge hug. And that just brightens my day, just to see how happy he is to see me. And it's just so wonderful just to interact with him. And each time I talk to him, he always has something new and he always has some kind of note to give me that he's thought about me throughout the week. And one time he mentioned when I was sick that he prayed for me at church. And that was the biggest blessing to know that he thinks of me, you know, throughout the week and not just on the days that I get to hang out with him. Can you tell us a joke? Uh, how how does a pig go oink, 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 oink? How? 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 Oink, oink, oink. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> we, can, we can really make a difference if we are able to advocate more for them and if we are able to um, really overcome the obstacle of being accepted. If we accept these individuals as just themselves, more people are going to be more and more willing to do that as well. And I think that it'll just be a domino effect and it'll go from there and um, we'll be able to really change this whole entire community outlook on intellectual disabilities. Best Buddies has benefited me by being able to interact with these wonderful individuals. They teach me something new every time I hang out with them and it has really brought down a lot of misconceptions that I had. Um, I feel like Best Buddies where it establishes a one-to-one -one friendship with individuals with intellectual disabilities. I feel like that on a college campus that is huge because us being um, younger and the new generation um, coming from <laughs> college, I think that we can really advocate for them and we can really make a difference in their lives. Wendell has blessed me tremendously. Um, I've been his buddy for four years and through this four years, he's made my college experience great. Um, I know that the other day I was thinking I'm graduating and I won't get my to see my buddy anymore. It's been four years and I walked in to the group home a week later and his face lit up and he said, hi buddy. And that just made me feel so important. That made me feel like my four years were just as amazing to him as they were to me. I was able to really see that he knew who I was. He knew I was his buddy. He knew I was the one who cared deeply for him. And I just think um, seeing it through different eyes and, and coming into this experience and looking at maybe what he's benefited from me is of what I've benefited from him is just amazing. And it was just so special to me to see the love that he had for me in his eyes and the way that he came to hug me. I just think that some of the biggest blessings we have come from uh, God's surprises. And um, our hearts are touched probably more by our friends that we're going to see tonight than, uh, than, than I even know how to put in words. Just uh, special, special friends. And I want to publicly uh, thank God for the gift of our best buddies. Hey. How sweet the sound. Steve, do you love best buddies? What is brown and sticky? What? A stick. <laughs> Hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for 